Okay. First pick of each pack is free. Each next pick must follow either color or CMC. So I have a free pick here. And then every pick afterward has to follow color or converted mana cost. Land color equals what it can tap for. Artifact equals wild. So artifacts are like the best choices. Because they give me a free roll afterwards. Something like that. <clears throat> Michael2684, thanks for the two months of Prime. So I guess I will just take Relic. Mm, no, you weren't slow at all. You're fine. Okay, so now I can take anything. Each next pick must follow either color or CMC. So I can take anything here. If I take Tundra, I would then have to take a white or a blue card or another land. Mac Daddy Howls, thanks for the five gifted subbies. Moles, thanks for the 13 months. Could just go Relic into Winter Orb. Though I don't really want a second pick of Winter Orb. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Sheesh. That's a pack of cards. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not going to take Oko. I'm going to take the Time Twister because I'm me. So now I have to take a blue card or a three drop or a blue land. I'm guessing. Cards like Marsh Flats don't count. So I have to. So there are. I can take Thirst for Discovery, Leviathan, or Triome. No, it has to be the same. Right? Or Revoker, right? Because it's colorless. No, Nissa doesn't work. So I guess Revoker is just the safest then. Because now I can take anything again. Winter Orb and Stacks. Okay, I can just take Foundry. Or I could go with Ramanap now. But if I take Ramanap, then I can only take green cards, green lands, three drops, or artifacts. Let's do it. Green Sun Zenith for uh, Ram and App is actually pretty good, right? Okay, that's nice. That's a nice looking Signet. <laughs> we could also take Elf or Avenger or Tax, technically. A Canopy with Ram and App. But now I have to take a green or white or artifact. Okay. <laughs> oh, perfect. Building a little uh, land deck here. Yeah. Oh my god, that signet. Is this actually just perfect? <laughs> oh, I'm the best alive. Damn, that sprawl actually kind of juicy too. Wait, uh, wait, no, no, no. What does this count as? What do I have to take here? Oh, I can't take that. And if miss it, you can always take. Wait, what? what is going on? It's giving me random... This timed out and bugged. It gave me two of the same card from the same pack. Okay. Nice, nice draft, bro. See that? It gave me Argoth for a second. Anyway. Uh, first pack, free card. Tinker? This is a good Tinker start. Oh, that's that might happen. Yeah. 
So Tinker, and then I have to take a three drop, a blue card, or colorless. What's up, Yager? Jaeger. Jaeger? Thanks for the five gifted subbies. No, I think we take Tinker there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we just took Tinker. That means we can take the DAC here. Nice. And now we can take a blue, a red, a three drop, or an artifact. Blue, red, three drop, or an artifact. Oh, there's Wasteland. So I forget. This count, this is okay, right? Is this free? Or is this a no? Would not work. Okay. So we'll just take Canal here. So this works because it's blue, red. Now we can take. Oh my god, that is it, Signet. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Right, it's colorless, but not an artifact. Okay. Oh, wait, no, artifacts are free. I have to take Fast Bond here. So even though this produces blue red, that's that's only for lands. So thank God I took the artifact previously, right? Take the fast bond here. But th if I take fast bond, we are a little bit stuck on what we have to pick next pack. Okay, that's free. Also gives us an okay tinker hit versus like a creature deck. So now I can take anything, such as a Ravages. I don't really want Ravages, but I guess I do. I mean, we have Ram and App Fast Bond, so. So, white, four drop, or colorless. Sorry, white, four drop, or artifact, not colorless, because I can't take factory there. The stipulation is Uno Draft. First pick of each pack is free. Each next pick must follow either the color or mana cost. Lands equal the color of what it can tap for, and artifacts equal wild. That is the stipulation. What did I just take? We can take Dynamo, I guess, no matter what. Take Jar no matter what. Oh, no, no, we want Sanctum. Actually, Jar is still good in a land deck like this, but the fixing seems better. Augur here. So I have to take... I don't know, we can take a 3-drop. We could take Skyclave. So white 3-drop. Hey, <laughs> Progenitus. <sighs> Progenitus lets me take anything! All right, and these last few picks don't matter. Mana Drain. I think that's a trap. I think Talarian Academy's probably better here. But I don't really have much to do with the mana. Wheel the Thespian Stage, and if we find Dark Depths, probably take it. No, first pick of every pack is free. I passed the Wasteland, and it didn't wheel, yeah? Oh god, pasta. It's too much to read. So blue, colorless, a oh, nice, 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 nice. Get the Urza now, and we have the Winter Orb already. So now we have to take a four, a blue, or a colorless. So blue, green, land is Dece. There's a Reclaimer here, Hierarch, Fountain, Ballista's okay. All right, Tropical. There's the Dark Depths, but I can't take it. Oh, this pack is really good. Ren, Corsair, Plow, the Dark Depths. So this is, what pick is this? 12 cards available. This is pick four. So I, I need to make sure I get the Thespian Stage and the... Oh, they're same mana cost. You're right, I can take the Depths. Okay, that's right. Right, right, right. I can take top here? 
And that gives us a free roll for next pick. We don't need Sphinx for a Tinker target, but it wouldn't be bad. Ooh, Fetch is tempting, but so is Bobble for another free pick. But no, Heath is too good. Yeah, Heath is way too good here, right? Wait, so what can I do here? Does this count as a green-white? In terms of... Yeah, green-white zero. Okay, so it's probably best to take the Nahiri over Garrick. Actually, Garrick, I guess, makes more sense. Although this gives me more potentials. Nice. Wow. Thicket, Cat... So if Heath was considered green, then... Catacombs also works. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh no, crop rotation would have been so good too. You're right. So we can take a zero, a cuddleless. Is that it? <sighs> Forge Master. Alright, well that gives us a free next pick at least. Yeah, we didn't put the stip on the thing, but there's a stip currently. Hey, that works too. That works. Huh. Dang, can't take the get in, but I can take one of these. I guess we'll take the plow, since we're planning on. Well... Did get the loam, too. But I don't know if that's... Are we even running, Tinker? We didn't get Crucible. So... Probably not running the Tinker just for Warm Coil. Do I even have enough artifacts for uh, Academy? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, yeah, it's plenty. Oh, plus Urza makes an artifact. I mean, it is a pile. But it's my pile. Two fetches? Darn, thought I had more. I get seven basics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Oh, we don't have enough duels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's plenty. One, two, three, four, five. Fine. Alright. We'll roll with it. Wish this was Finale of Devastation so we could get the uh, Ram and App from the graveyard. Oh yeah, I guess the Dynamo doesn't do much here, does it? Agreed. Yeah, I mean... No, I still like it. We have stuff to do with mana. We have a draw seven. That's fine. Do 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 do. Hey hey hey. Rusky Brewski, thanks for the seventeen months. Discordia, thanks for the six months of prime. Progenitus Eureka. Should we do it? You know, Niv Mizzet Reborn actually has a couple of hits, doesn't it? You can hit Escape, Dak, Knight. I mean, for a stip draft where I don't get to choose anything but pack ones, pick ones, this seems like a deck that I might have kind of drafted normally. Ring Wingers, thanks for the 19.
GLHF. I see. I have one land capable of adding mana. <laughs> this deck needed some moxin. Oh, this hand has some potential. My lands! I'm supposed to be the one doing stuff to lands, not you. What's up, Epic Deuce? This was 16. We have stormed, yes. Not today, though. All right, draw your card. Draw your stupid, sexy card. See what I care. Willems, thanks for the 13 months. Hey! <laughs> okay, that's good. I mean, the port with the orb is okay, but it's not that good. Oh. Oh, 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 juicy. They brick on land and don't have exile, they're dead. I have a combo with Dark Depths on the battlefield, bro. It's right there. Hey, what? <laughs> Uh, all right, that's good. Good news is they have no pressure right now, but boo. I probably should have just ran out the Signet. They're never tapping out. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we're running out Siggies now. For sure. Winter Orb is a little bit better for me with Triple Signet than it is for them. Mm, that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh. Not bad. Sadly, I cannot tap their Winter Orb with Urza. Huh? Okay. Hope they don't have like a Solitude. Ooh, that's problematic. Seems like the right play. Damn, I can't play the auger first. You got me. <laughs> mm, I guess I could have played out the orb first. But then I wouldn't, or I would let them draw a card. I don't really want them to draw land, right? <laughs> oh, the nuts! God damn it! Jesus. That's a bingo. I guess I just attack. I don't want to time twister and give them lands. We're racing them pretty well here. Of 
Um, I guess we spin. Uh Hmm, that's stupid sword, man. I can't time twister. I just need to spin and pray, right? If I time twister, they're almost certainly hitting a land. Yikes. So we just need them to brick on the land. Or hit something nice here. Wow. Land, land. All right. We're dead to them drawing an untapped mana source. Blech. Unfortunate. If I time twister and I don't hit something, then they just immediately win, though. Okay, they didn't hit it. I repeat, they did not hit. Doesn't do anything. Actually, that's not true. I could add a bunch of mana with it. Because I could... No way, that doesn't do anything. Wait, I have fast spawn too, though. Wait a minute, wait a... Oh, no, but I'm only at four life. No, but I could get Th Dark Depths Thespian Stage. That would work, right? Yes. 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 Um... Is there merit to me just firing off Time Twister? I mean, if they Solitude, then I win because I gain a bunch of life. I don't think we want a Merit Lage main phase, do we? That means I would be able to attack with my Construct, though. Well, Oust gains us life, but no, that would kill us. I guess. Mm-hmm. Do I need to keep attacking, though? I don't think I do. I think I just... Attack with Augur and Urza. Yeah, Time Twister giving them back a Wasteland would be a problem. Right, I don't have the three floating blue anymore, but I didn't need it. I'm not going to play around them ripping a strip mine off the top. They also have to leave back a flyer. If they don't somehow have lethal, right? So they can't even get in for more than one tops. Yeah, just a pass. Okay, um, let's see. I mean, now I might be able to fire off Time Twister. What's in the deck? I don't have any ways to gain life. Oh, we get to play this off the top. Could just spin the Urza. Spinning Urz is probably good enough. No, if they attack with one token, I'd make the Merit Lage and block. That's another spin. It's good. Oh, God! Oh, my God. Uh, I did not mean to play that land. Oh, Jesus. Well, 
shoot. Now I just boned myself. Now I think I need to time twister. Whoopsies. Alright. So I can play that. I mean, let's see. <laughs> okay, how do we get out of this now? Is going to one correct? Go block, block. We're still okay here. The sentinel has to jump in front of the token. And they still need to block one of the others. I should not have played out that land though. That was so gross. Oh, I should still be spinning Urza first before attacking. Playing that land was... Troll. Yeah, 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 we're still okay here, but that's super awkward. No, that doesn't work, because the Thespian stage has to tap on the first turn. Alright. This is fine. Do not play the land, Kenji! Do not play the land! Stop. You don't need to click on the land. Smokestack doesn't make them sack on the first turn. It's the second, because it has to get a counter, which only happens on your upkeep, so it, it takes one, one turn cycle before anything gets sacrificed. I know. I played the land because it was highlighted. Clearly, the game wanted me to play it. Nah, this is the beginning of upkeep. This is untap. Phew! Played perfectly and won. I think we all saw it. Did we not? They only had two lands because I ravaged. They were up to six or seven at one point. If both players have Winter Orb, is somebody doing it wrong? It looks like Winter Orb's better in our deck. Right? We have a bunch of rocks and we have Urza, so I probably leave it in. Uh, yeah. It looks like a mulligan to me, huh? <laughs> uh, this is better than the first hand, and I'm not even joking. Alright, I can keep that. White splash. We have more blue than green. Yeah, relic in the time twister versus mono white's not ideal. Signet off the top would be great, or next turn. Oh, you know what? Because they have um, a Wasteland, I probably should not lead on Botanical until turn 2. Or I could even play at turn 3. Fine. So, I will grab Savannah here. And by that I mean Plains. Okay. No wastelands here. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to lead with Relic before time twisting. I might even just escape to the wilds next turn. I, get, I feel like we probably don't even need to twist. You know what? This deck needed a balance. Or some kind of board wipe. What's up, Beldar? Thanks for the 20 months. Oops, thanks for the six months, subby. What's up, Gin and Tanic? Thanks for the 26. Zayla, thanks for the 27 months. That's bad. That's bad. Mm. We're actually pretty dead to that. So. 
I guess I'm going to actually twist her here and, and pray. I should have floated a red. I guess escaping is kind of the same thing. Except it's personal. Land. Land. And go Signet plus Reclaimer and just lose. We actually don't have a way to beat that. Okay. <laughs> Scoop it up. We'll throw in that Worm Coil. Maybe even the Seraph isn't terrible. We could add the... T you know what? Let's add the Tinker and the Seraph. Let's go like this. Oh, wait. I have to cut another card? Dynamo, I guess. If we really wanted to go YOLO, we could Eureka plus Progenitus. I don't think that would be cr crazy versus the mono white deck. Uh, this hand's fine. So turn one top, turn two no spin in case we draw one of our two mana artifacts. If they wasteland, we do have excavator later on. Unfortunate. A blocker. Yes. No more Esper Sentinel beats. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, I think this is good. Dang it. Annoying. Jailer's gonna jail. Stupid spicy jailer. Sadly, the auger doesn't let me play extra lands every turn, which would be really sick. Eh, we're not dead here. Not at all. Eh, getting closer to dead. Okay. I mean... If they attack with hero, we can trade for it. Two two threes block a three four well enough. It's kind of hard for them to attack, right? Yeah. Does it even matter if I give them extra cards now? So I kind of do want to dack the uh, Sentinel. Exile the token, huh? Just pick it up and put it in the graveyard. And this is a weird match. This has been a very weird match. Vintage cube on arena? No. If I ever said that, that was incorrect. Arena cube goes down on the first, and then vintage cube stays up on MTGO until the 25th. Yeah, it's like an emblem, basically. You can't interact with it. 
Unless it's moving from player to player. Eh, it's just that it it's back so frequently and it's never anything new. Judgment, okay. What are they exiling? Ramanap, maybe? Or Artifact? What did they vote? They voted for Augur. Okay. So Augur down. Makes sense when I have top. Looks like I'm going to kill the DAC. I can trade for the hero. So DAC dies. No real point in trying to gain the Monarch back here. It'd only be for a turn. Oh, I would get my knight back. Shoot. Yeah, I should untap Savannah now. Right, I was only concerned about the... Crap. Yeah, I probably should have done that. I mean, we get to just worm coil next turn. Yeah, I was assuming I would take the Monarch for a turn and then they would just get it back immediately, but that was wrong. Oh, they're doing something. Luris! Luris Lotus Petal! Boop, 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 boop. Well, it's probably better to play the Flyer out, right? Because they both gain a bunch of life. White's not going to have Destroy, really, so... Either way, one of them would get exiled. If they had a removal spell. And then we can gain it this turn with Seraph. I'm the monarch now. The Winter Orb is actually hurting them a lot more than it is me. Like I said, I have a bunch more mana rocks and whatnot, so... While generally Winter Orb, I think, is good in a deck like Mono White. It's definitely hurting them here. Like, they have eight cards in their hand because of Monarch, but they have very little mana to do with it. I guess we just put them on a two-turn flying clock. Um, well, let's see, six. Then we go to 13, then five. But I need to use the Knight of the Reliquary to get to six mana. Here's what I'm going to... I'm just going to attack... Oh, I should have given the uh, Sentinel flying instead. We're just going to attack with these two. I'm pretty tempted to fire off this Twister. But they didn't do anything with that many cards last turn, so... Probably no need to. I guess if I was going to do this, I should have hit him down to 10. And sacked the Canopy for an extra card to give the Elvish Reclaimer plus 2 plus 2. But... Alright! Oof! Got the first. Probably one of our weaker matchups, too. Fast aggro deck. Tree Stern. Sorry, Tree Stem. Thanks for the three months, Subby. NyQuil Bandit. Thanks for the five months. Cable with a 548. Thanks for the 27. Nah, this isn't as bad of a debate. Need to find some Siggies here. Stick Pyro, things to the 38 as well. Uh, so three mana is our next green sun hit. I 
Hey, I want that. I guess we just go grab the Thespian stage. OP, please! You're making my winter orb look garbo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, they only have two cards in their hands, so that doesn't... look that bad. We can just turn it off, too. But this might not even be doing much anyways. But now it does nothing! Okay. It's fine. You pastas! Get your nasty pastas out of here. I did win the previous match. The life game from the batter skull kind of annoying. Oh. Interesting. Uh, let's see here. One, two... Three. I'm one short. One, two, three, four. I guess I just make a three, three play a land and pass. Well, even stealing the batter skull doesn't even matter. Because they would still keep the creature on their side equipped. If I could cast the DAC, we would steal the signet, yeah? If they attack with the Batter Skull token here, do we make Merit Lage? I guess we probably do. Because if they can do something mid-combat, they could do it end of turn anyway. Though that means potentially a sorcery speed effect could get us, but... Yeah, the thing is I can Green Sun for a Ramanap, but Vernant Catacombs doesn't grab a red source, I believe. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That ain't good enough. Stage up, baby. Twenty, twenty. Oh, ho, ho, the perfect. Oh, wait, can I? Steal and equip? That's way too much mana, right? That would be 8 mana. I don't have 8, do I? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, let's see. So you know what I'm probably supposed to do here? Just take a Signet and play Winter Orb. Well, the Orb effectively costs 1. Not attack first? What? What does that matter? Doesn't matter, right? Alright, we effectively subtracted two mana from them. Pretty good. There was merit to getting their second black source off the battlefield, I guess. Funny thing about Carnage is that it doesn't kill Merit Lage. Alright, this is destroy. Yeah. Right, obviously I would never vote for Carnage, but I'm just saying. Big juicy natural thing for the six months, subby. We're winning. We're winning. 
It's happening! Run it back. I don't need stupid sexy worm coil versus them. <laughs> Look at that hand. Woo lodi. Put a fast bond in, or fast, yeah. Fast bond in this hand and I would keep it. Turn one smoke stack, like subtract one of these lands. Go turn one fast bond, land, 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 smoke stack, lol. Uh oh. That's not good. That is, in fact, quite bad. We're gonna need to find, like, Academy. Oh, nothing turn two, though? Okay. That's good. I see. Funny enough, Power Stone is good here. Uh, but yeah. I guess we're still just dead, huh? Right. Well then. Okay, there's the thespian stage. Take eight thespian stage, take eight. No. Okay. We have one out. Okay. So if I use the Horizon Canopy yet again for mana, we also just die to one shot of the leveler, which is a little bit unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five. I need to find a red and a shuffle effect. This seems very unlikely. So now the Urza makes power stones in the sapphires, of which I can use them for anything. Be cool. <sighs> Fat J Fry, thanks for the prime gaming. I am at one. We draw the top, play the top, draw. Spin. Oh, I need to use it for mana first. I guess it doesn't matter, we have plenty. Oh, is it one short? Oh, they had counterspell anyways. It'd be one short even if so. This would be a 4-4, four, four, so they would attack, kill the construct now, and then they have seven. Okay, didn't matter. It didn't matter. Nothing mattered. Come on, just... Here's the opening hand. Forest, Fast Bond, Dark Depths, Stage, two more other lands. I'm only asking for six of seven. Not even seven of seven. How crude can you be? All right, well, this is what we needed to find last game, so snap, keep this hand. We know this is V good versus them. Yeah, Signet there would have been pretty nice. We're not going to run out Dak first thing, unless they run out like a monolith or whatever. Go for the Relic next turn. Relic into Escape seems okay for starters. 
Oh, here we go again. Curse. Annoying, sure, but actually not that bad. And we're not playing that art. Or, not art, out. That's my last chance to play Canal Untapped, so I need to play that. Whatever. Ain't no big deal when I just played a relic, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they don't have anything to follow up. That's fine. Okay. Value! Success. Basically, three mana, draw a card. On a 2-3 body. They might have Counterspell again. Oh, they didn't! Let's see... Pretty good. Pretty freaking good. So we can still play the Urza and the Knight next turn. We're drawing Signet, which is zero mana because of Academy as well. And the opponent is still dirtling away over there. Nice. Ram an app. That doesn't do anything. So this can go grab a white source. It's not bad. Oh, no counter. Don't need to cast Revoker here. Ravages? <laughs> I'll do it. That looks great. Nom nom nom. Casual 9-9. Nine, nine. I think I'm slightly favored. Hey, baby, 2 0. 2 0. Mm. Easy. The perfect deck. Can we get one more? Snap, keep that hand. No red source, don't care. Signet, signet, winter orb. Good enough. Incoming mountain goblin guide. No, don't look at my hand. No. No. Oh, uh oh. That's actually a little bit annoying because it eats graveyards, but it's not that bad. Oh my gosh, the SIGs. <laughs> oh, the DAC looks good here. No! Well, that's actually not too much of a problem. It's just annoying. Honestly, the real issue is they just have two random creatures, turn one and turn two. Like, the Spellbinder is much more of an issue. The three power flyer is just going to clock us, you know? And this deck has very little removal, so... We really do be ramping, though. Yeah, we just... <laughs> just creature, 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 turn one, turn two, turn three. That's GG's. Literally cannot beat that. That's probably the land I'm supposed to play. 
Ripping uh, Dark Depths is probably our out. We have the Geddon. <laughs> close! That was very close to Geddon. Gideon. Alright, now even uh, Dark Depths doesn't work because that's uber lethal next turn. So I can Dak and steal the Seraph, but still just Dobbs. <laughs> steal Seraph. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you got me. Good thing I put up a fight. Worm in, Seraph in, plow out. Yeah. Smokestack out. Tinker in. Alright. To be fair, they did play everything a turn early because of the mocks. Like, even if we had gotten one more turn, that might have been good enough. Steal the Seraph. No, I don't think we want a colorless land here. This doesn't even block very well. I don't have any black sources for Pulse. We will just continue down our zero removal plan. In fact, yeah, literal zero removal here, right? I guess Dak is kind of a removal spell for artifact creature. Ah, oh, what land, dude? We keep. Snap keep on the draw. Obviously big risk on the on the play. Plus one of the lands that we can draw is Dark Depths. I still made my land drop for turn two. And if we draw a land, we still get to go Signet, Signet. Ugh! Stupid creature curve again! Alright. I have no regrets. I would keep this hand again. <laughs> okay. Free win. You, you got me. Uh, GG. GG. Well fought. Alright, let's go do a little bit of the arena cube while it's...